they really do pay attention to phone calls. Screw the emails, screw the letters, call them, talk to them. You don't have to talk to them, talk to their aides, but you got to, and then your customers got to call. Right. And that's powerful. powerful or better yet, wait, all three, letters, phone call, yeah. and email. Well, and I would add to that, personal of, visits. They, right. they really take right. notice of personal right. visits. Right. And, and having worked with the legislature for years and years, there's, there's, it's, it's an incredibly valuable relationship. And it's always, always worth the effort. Don't underestimate your power to organize. It's a little different in Washington, but 10 phone calls for a state representative is really big because they all know that represents the tip of the iceberg. Yep. They'll pay attention. They bet. And keep us posted, please, on what's happening in Illinois. Any other questions for these panelists? Okay, great. We'll go and... I just have a comment. Oh, yeah. Uh, can you come up to the microphone, please? I, I can talk now. <laughs> You know, I, I think one thing is missing here. Farmers talking to farmers is fine and talking to real people. But the real problem is the urban uh, citizen, you know. We've got to have a strategy to move people, you know, in the cities to recognize the issue of food. And I don't think an effective strategy has been, you know, formulated yet to deal with that issue. I know we've, we've sued Perrier, Nestle, we've sued factory farms, I'm part of Family Farm Defenders. But, but really, re reaching people in the city is important. And, I, and I'd like to see, uh, you know, if, if there's some strategy that, that you know, we, we can develop to reach people so that they hear your voice and they understand what you're saying. Because I don't think they do. Thank you. Anybody it's, want to address that? It's a, little, it's a little bit chicken and egg because we wouldn't be 